What's happening, y'all? It's Miss Something. Y'all, we getting on to do the reading for guess who? Sagittarius, y'all. What's going on? I'm getting ready to do my sad chase. Woo! Let me tell y'all, I just got an instant uplift. I just did the Libra reading. And let me tell y'all, them people in the Libra reading just had me pissed off, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> It's something in the airway. What's going on? I hope it ain't in y'all's airway. What's going on, Sagittarius? Y'all leave me a comment. Let me know how y'all doing. Why don't y'all take a moment to like and subscribe to the channel? I really appreciate it when you all do. Also, share if you know someone who needs to hear this message. Also, do hit that notification bell so all of my videos that are loaded on a daily and weekly basis can be sent directly to you. Y'all, this is Donda. This first off. How y'all feel? How y'all feeling, Sage? How y'all doing, Sage? They got y'all messed up today. Wait. <laughs> See, that's what I'm already knowing. They, they playing with y'all, Sage. <laughs> y'all, I got my coffee so we can sip that tea and all that. But let me see. We're going to take a look at your current situation. See what's going on for my Sage. Y'all, what's happening? Hopefully, we ain't nobody got y'all fucked up this week or this today or the energy, you know, whenever you look at the reading. Because, you know, we don't do time and all this stuff. All of those limitations. We don't do time, gender, none of that stuff over here. Because all this stuff is a, a limitation. What is, who, who got time for limitation? What? <laughs> Somebody trying to limit y'all capabilities. But we come against that in the name of all this divine. You look sneaky. Whoever it is, you just tried to show up in this reading. But I saw you in the spirit. Your little dirty dog, but you trying to come after Sage. Mm-hmm. Thought I didn't see you. Spirit, talk to me. We invoke all angels of light, divine beings, heavenly hosts, employers of divine words. On behalf of Sagittarius, at this time, this reading is for Sagittarius, the magnificent centaur. We awaken all senses on the behalf of the centaur at this time. We eradicate all evil energies that uh, and entities that are trying to take the message from Sagittarius at this time. We know Sagittarius is ready for battle. They came ready. So who is trying to combat y'all? I'm getting that energy. What's going on? Talk to me, Spirit, about current situation for Sagittarius. Current situation. Thank you, Spirit. What's all this? There's a lot of blue going on. Oof. So what I say, Sagittarius, there's always some bullshit. Okay, all this came out, and I'm not going to put it back because Spirit brought it out. Um, some of you, blue may be um, an indicator because all of these cards are blue that I see. I'm also getting a lot of red flags in your energy. Something going, and something is definitely going on. The first card we have here is no longer your secret. Yeah. We also have conflicts and arguments. A lot of conflict in your energy, arguments in your energy. We also have third eye is open. This card came out for the Libra reading. A lot of third eye access in the energy today. Um, yeah, after your money and what you can do for me. Sagittarius, oh, fuck no. Woo! This it took the wheel, y'all. <laughs> See why I do this? I felt it in the spirit. You got somebody after what you can do for them. What the fuck? Then they, they no longer want to be, um, see, um, somebody was trying to keep you a secret. Or this could be vice versa. But I'm seeing this in this person's energy, um, um, Sagittarius, um, that they could have been trying to keep you a secret. And you could have got into an argument, argument with this person over saying, I'm not going to, you're not going to have me no more. Let's do this. What, what's the next stage of the relationship? What the fuck going on here? Are you trying to be friends with benefits? What's going on? Um, And your third eye is open, too. So what that means is there's some moon energy, Pisces energy. There's secrets that are going on behind the scene. And the secret is this person is after what you can do for them. True spirit already revealed it. This person is um money hungry, grafty, trying to get what you got. That's what the problem is, and there's some sick olds out here on that shit too. And we can already, I already gotta pick up my phone. <laughs> Operator, please connect me to this fuck toy. 
this bullshit motherfucker that's setting up her after Sagittarius and what they can do for them. Trying to be with them for their money. Now you go fuck off on another motherfucker, you bastard. Whoever you think you are, you cross watching while you up here trying to take Sagittarius money and you trying to keep them a secret. Excuse me? What you need to do is find your ass. And if you can't, you better call Ike Turner. Whack ass. Motherfucker. I'm already pissed off, Sagittarius. I'm already pissed off with this energy. I, we five minutes into your reading, and I'm already pissed off. This person want to keep you a secret. See, because you know what? This is the placation game. You probably dealing with what you, with one of these one of these mofos out here that think they're a player or a Casanova, and they probably tr got you set up in a little scheme here. I can see it already, where they think that you supposed to be the one they gonna fuck off on and use their money, while they run around here and get fucked up on by uh, 10, 15 motherfuckers. See, I can see what's going on here. And see, they think well, they're going to keep you a secret over here while you working and doing what the fuck you got to do. And maybe it was friends with benefits, but you ain't even interested in that now, says Terrius. The fuck? This person after your money? Maybe y'all got into it. <laughs> y'all got into it. <laughs> y'all got into it, baby. Let's talk Let's talk about uh, what's in this person's subconscious. Uh, what's in your subconscious position first? We're talking to me about um, Sagittarius subconscious position, please, concerning this current situation. Yeah, this person definitely not no good. But see, you privy to them. Uh, Sagittarius, you privy. Your third eye's open, baby. It's an awakening that is taking place. <laughs> Absolutely. You might not have been aware before, but you are now. We're talking to me about Sagittarius subconscious position concerning this current situation. <clears throat> Sagittarius subconscious position. Oh, okay. Thank you, spirit. Pride. <laughs> Family. So there's an issue of stability. Yeah, oh, there it is at the bottom of the deck. Damn. Sagittarius. My God. Elusive. Dishonesty, deception, trickery, lies. Somebody you're connected to. This could be a divine feminine. Somebody that you find very beautiful, charming. Somebody that you're definitely interested in. That walks around and play innocent and shit. And this person is lying. See? And that's what you think about this person. That this person is a liar. And they're not honest. Do you feel like this person is very prideful? And that the foundation between you two has been broken. Yeah. Your intuition is telling you. They could be... Um, after your family can have money, right? They could have, for some of you, this may be a marriage or this could be definitely a uh, committed relationship, but they could have married you for money with family and intuition. They could have got with, gotten with you just for what you can do. Um, and it's sick, it's sick old out here. They'll sit up with, with you all for years and they don't give a fuck about you. All they want is what you can do for them. Come on, I'm in town to be seeing that in the movies, y'all. The movies are real. Who the fuck need to hear this? The movies are real, y'all. <laughs> the movies are not a lie. Somebody need to hear that. All this shit they writing in these movies is real. And I'm sick of these people. Oh, that's a movie. That's the first tale. Ain't shit out here no motherfucking first tale. Because it ain't sounding all juicy and good. It's the first tale. No, this motherfucker got you fucked up. And that's what you see. This person is all about pride and ego. It's about, it's about what they can get in the end. It's not about them being anything to you. They want to keep you a secret while they use you and run around here and fuck around. I can see it already. And they could have got with you. And like I say, this person's very charming. They could, they're they very charming. Very good looking. All that. Quick talker. I'm getting like that Casanova type vibe. They can talk the drawers off you. All that type of shit. But your intuition is telling this, telling you that this person, they not they don't have no foundation for you. This person is not foundational. There are no foundational truths. This person is a liar. There's a lot of distance between you two. Mm -hmm. Talk to me about this uh, elusive card, please. In the subconscious position for Sagittarius. <clears throat> Negative mindset, yeah. You may even feel like this person, is, they could be getting readings on you. 
Or they could be, you may feel like this person put some type of hex on you or some type of voodoo on you or something. But in all and in, in, uh, of it all, this person is very negative, right? This person is not somebody, they treat you poorly. They are very negative, they're secretive, and they keep a lot of lies. This is the type of person that is a, um, um impulsive liar, right? This person just tells lies on the whim. You know, this person, that's how you feel about this person. There's too much conflict between this person. It's too hard to deal with this person. Every time you with them, you got to argue. You got to fight. And that's because they got too many secrets. That's what's going to always happen. Anytime your relationship says serious. And you know ain't shit going on between y'all. And the other person always creating an argument. You already know it's some shit going on behind the scenes. Ain't no way you argue with me for no motherfucking reason. Come on, y'all. Come on, Sage. If this person is all negative with you, they got some shit in the closet. Simple as that. It's another motherfucker they talking to. And let me tell you, it don't got to be just because you don't see some shit. Because guess what? These motherfuckers, they real, baby. <laughs> They'll be in, in the other motherfucker room on FaceTime with another motherfucker on your ass. Stop playing, Sage. <laughs> let me tell you, these motherfuckers bold as hell out here. And believe me when I tell you, and you just what you're saying about this person. This person is very charming, but all they really are is full of pride, full of ego, very shallow type of energy. And that's what you're seeing. There's no foundational ground with this person. They may have made you promises, but they're not going to keep them. That's what you're seeing. This person wants to keep you a secret. And create all these arguments every time you ask them, well, when are we going to go to the next step? We going to stand when we, or it, it could be anything. If you're in this relationship, this like I said, for a lot of you, this could be um, committed relationship, marriage, whatever. Take it how it resonates. But this person is always causing an issue. That's what I'm getting to. But your third eye is open, so you're privy to this game now. Before, you probably weren't paying attention. And I'm going to say this very, very... Um, Strongly here, I don't think it's a matter of you not being able to figure it out, Sagittarius. I just think that while you've been seeing this person, you've really been too busy to give a fuck, right? You do over here doing what you got to do. You ain't got time to play games, but you done got privy because your third eye is open. See, and you're having an awakening. This person, oh, this person may always have a hand out asking you to get stuff. Or always saying they ain't got no money. You may be dating this person. They always saying they don't got no... But they're after you and what you can do. Uh, Spirit, talk to me about overall energy. Spirit, talk to me. me about Sagittarius. Talk to me about Sagittarius. Oh, Jesus. Talk to me, Spirit. Current energy... What's going on? Overall energy. <clears throat> Overall energy for Sagittarius. This reading is for Sagittarius. Overall energy. Okay, we got the five of pentacles in the reverse. Mm. We also have the five of swords. In the reverse. Yeah. So there's definitely been, like I said, a lot of conflict arguments in the past here that have taken place. Uh, but there is still this inability to let go. Right? Uh, Sagittarius, this, like I said, this person is very, very um, charming and alluring to you. I see that in this person's energy. They're very alluring, very charming. Um, and that's really stopping you from leaving this out in the cold. There's an imbalance in the connection. Like I said, there's that trickery, that six of pentacles. Um, there's not an equal give and take here in this relationship. Communication has taken place regarding that. You know, you say to this person, okay, what's up? What's up? What's it gonna be? The fuck? You over there with them or you with me? What's the deal? <laughs> Quit playing games. You know, that's what you're saying. Sagittarius, like, what the, is this something going what? Because your intuition, baby, because when they, see, that's what, that's when your intuition started kicking in, Sag. I can already see, that's when you began to start seeing the foundation was broken between you two. 
right? Because your intuition starts telling me, why is this person arguing with me? Why is every time I come through the door, this person just on my case? Like, what the fuck? Ain't shit going on, but they on my case. And so, that's why you're like, I'm, I'm not finna argue with this mofo. I'm done with that shit. Because I can see what the fuck going on here. You know, you can see what's going on. <laughs> mm-hmm. Ten of Swords. In the reverse. Uh-huh. And this person probably trying to act like they didn't betray. They're denying they betrayed you. Uh-huh. But they have. Wow. There it is. The lovers at the bottom of the deck probably got other option here. They lied about it, though. <laughs> my God, Sagittarius. My damn. Soon as I said this, the spirit never lied. You got the lovers to the seven of swords, baby. They lied to you, Sag. They got another option, and they lied about this betrayal. Yes, the fuck they did betray you. That ten of swords, they betrayed you. And there's somebody else in the picture. Seven of swords to the lovers. Uh-huh. But they can't manipulate you. That's why they pissed off. That's why the argument came. That's the only time you gonna be sitting up arguing. Because, motherfucker, you played me, and you trying to put that shit off on me. That's what the fuck up. This motherfucker, they betrayed you, trying to play like they didn't betray you. But yes, they did. The spirit just showed it. <laughs> Hell, you talking about? Justice. Yeah. They don't want you to move. And ain't this, ain't this something? They don't want you to move forward. They want to keep you on this little fuck train. See, that's what I'm talking with this With this Justice Court Libra energy in the reverse, they want to keep you in this game they got going. Yes, they do. They don't want you to move forward. Six of Swords in the reverse. Uh-huh. They don't want you to move forward and get away from them. They surely don't. Yeah, they want to cause more conflict, more confusion in your energy, Sagittarius. They want to create more arguments so they can try to play you for crazy like you some trick out here. And they got you fucked up. Sagittarius, who the fuck? Let me tell you something. They got you messed up. They lying about the third party, three of cups in reverse, and they're damn lying because I can see it in the spirit. They betrayed you. Why are they trying to sit up here and act like they didn't? Yes, they did. And they lying. That's why y'all arguing. <laughs> yes, they did. Yes, they did. Four of cups. <laughs> Baby, you're looking at this as a missed opportunity now, Sagittarius. But it is causing you some worry. Nine of Swords. Um, where you could be thinking about this person. It could have definitely led to a toxic connection here. Especially with beauty and pride. Um, uh, that those together to me are um equal to like that toxic energy. Um, like the devil energy. I'm getting like I'm seeing that chain between you and this person. Um, and it could be a toxic connection through sex. Right, where this you are connected to this person sexually. Um, but like I said, there is very much so the presence of ego and pride in this person's energy. This person is very much so able to hide the truth, um, and corrode the truth, if you understand what I'm saying. And they'll do that at any cost to protect this bullshit that they got going on. And there's some real sickos out here. Um, talk to me about tennis wars in reverse, please. Uh, uh, uh. You got the magician in reverse to the nine of pentacles. Yeah. See, they're going to try to stop you from moving on. And they're going to be shocked as hell. The tower card at the bottom of the deck. Aries energy when you deny that shit. And you're going to see uh, what they're not going to... Um, be aware of or what they're going to be shocked to is being blinded by your truth because you're not going to tell this person your next move. You're not going to let them know what you're doing, right? And that's what's going to shock them. They think they got you so gone through the sex deal that you're going to be a goddamn fool for them, says Siri. That's what it is. And they think, oh, I got said, see, I can see what's going on. You, you know what's going on with this magician to this nine of pinnacle sage? This person think they got you so gone on some sex. They say, oh, I don't got to manipulate Sage. They'll be back. I ain't even worried about sex. Serious, they'll be back when they get ready to have sex and shit. I get them back. And they think that's going to stop you from moving on with your, with your life. But I don't think so. Because I see you moving into this Nine of Pentacles energy. I see you moving on. That's what I see. 
This person think they got you gone and they think you forgot about this betrayal. Ten of swords and the reverse and they think you're going to just, you know, just let this slide. That's what they think. That's why it's in reverse. And they probably telling you they lied to you. Who somebody lied to you? Somebody. Oh, uh, what you found out that wasn't me. That's what they all say. My God. Oh, it wasn't. I ain't doing you the motherfucker lie. Ain't no 8 billion people got the same story on your motherfucking stupid ass. Ain't no, uh, come on, y'all. Quit playing out here in these streets. <laughs> ain't no way that this person ain't did this. I don't know why these people did, did love to do this. They think they can run around. Any them, first of all, Jerry Springer ain't even on no more. Y'all stop playing. Call the Jerry Springer show. If that's what you're trying to do. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't get it. <laughs> Um, Spirit, talk to me about this person's energy, um, their intentions towards Sagittarius at this time, please. Talk to me about Sagittarius. Let me see what's going on with my boobs. Let me see. Sagittarius. Y'all gonna have to end up, y'all don't, 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 don't. <laughs> y'all gonna have to send me the address. <laughs> They got y'all fucked up, Sagittarius. Don't make me have to pull up with my crowbar now. Stop playing, y'all. <laughs> Don't make me have to pull up. They got y'all messed up. <laughs> they, 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 who do, this is the type of person you have to keep you some bottles in the trunk in case you have to crack one or something. Because <laughs> they got you fucked up. The fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? This, this person right here, they need an old school whoop ass. That's what they need. This mofo, this mofo right here. Because let me tell you, this person you're dealing with, they think they are a real Casanova, y'all. They, they need one of them old school ass whoopings. That's what they need. <laughs> I bet they won't run around here trying to sleep on nobody else. <laughs> oh, Jesus. They need one of them old school crowbar. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> Shit, you whooping a nick, a motherfucker. You whooping their ass with a uh, uh, shoestring. The fuck? Some tennis shoes. They need one of the Michael Jordan tennis shoe whoopings. <laughs> Ooh, y'all stop playing. Talk to me about this person's energy towards Sagittarius. Ooh, Jesus. They really got y'all missed the Ace of Wands. Oh, really? See, what I say, Sagittarius? The sex. What I say, the spirit never lie. It's the damn sex, y'all. That's how they think they got y'all trapped. Ten of Wands. Ooh, my God. Y'all, I'm through. I don't need to read nothing else. I don't need to. You got the Ace of Wands and the Ten of Wands, y'all. What did I just say, Sagittarius? This person trying to keep you in this struggle. They get This person got a bunch of baggage, a bunch of bullshit. They ain't about a, a damn thing with this Ten of Wands. And they trying to keep you over here in this little toxic-ass connection with this Ten of Wands. Uh, ten of Wands. Over here struggling, trying to see, ooh, it, what they going to do? You ain't finna sit around and wait on that sage because of some sex? What the fuck? And this person really think they they got you wrapped around their little finger. I told y'all. <laughs> they really do. Baby, they think they can write your story. Now they going to be ready. I saw the eight of swords at the bottom of the deck. Now they all up in their head trying to think about healing the connection with you and all this. <laughs> But really, all they're going to do is, like I said, create more conflict in your energy. They're going to come and argue. Because when, like I say, uh, Sagittarius, here they come, they're going to come and try to and, and put it down on you real good like, And try to do the hocus pocus and turn themselves around. And all later, when they get through doing all that fuck shit, you, <laughs> what, what I love about y'all, Sagittarius, is you may actually do that shit. But that whole time, you still know this motherfucker ain't no good. You might get him a little nookie. Because you want it. <laughs> Who the fuck they think they're dealing with? You might. You just might. Who was that saying? What was that song? Monique. I just might. Run up on them. I just might. What? <laughs> they got y'all messed up. That tip. Yeah, you, you, you don't come over here and get your little nookie. But you ain't finna get my money. You ain't finna get what I got going. That's what you saying. This person crazy. The fuck? Really talk to me about the um Sagittarius energy towards this person. Let me see. 
This ain't your, hold on. Spirit, talk to me about Sagittarius energy towards this person, please. Knight of Wands. <laughs> My God, Sagittarius. This is what I love about the spirit. You know this person is a player. Like they trying to see that's how you feel about this person. This person is a player. Knight of Wands. They non-committal as fuck. They not gonna commit to you. This is how you see this person as a player. Like what they are. A head game player. Uh, somebody that's got you in some type of scheme where they probably fucking with you and, and 10, 15, or 20, 30, 50 other people. You can you can't never count. <laughs> And please don't be um, y'all acting like y'all not privy to the fact that when you dealing with one of these people, you can't count the traces of their motherfucking body count. You don't know what the fuck these people doing. These little player energy people, baby, because they can tell you something. All they care about is winning. They will fuck over the whole planet to get what the fuck they want. And ain't going to do shit for it. So you, you better know that, says Terry. And that's why this person, that's why this is her. After your money and what you can do for me. Because this, per this person running around with their body parts over the planet. Second reading today. I'm confused as fuck. Because I'm trying to see how you're trying to think you're going to be in a relationship just to use somebody's money and what they got. I'm confused as fuck. Who the hell do you think you are? Cross watcher. You, in you involved in something. No. If you're a fuck boy or F girl, you do that shit and you get $20 to fucking debt. The fuck? You don't try to play like you're going to be in a relationship. With somebody so you can use them. And then think you're going to sleep around with who you want to. You got Sagittarius fucked up out here. Excuse me. Operator, connect me to this fool ass, no good, turd, doo-doo, no good, piece of nothing ass. Running around here, floating around the ocean. Thinking it's the motherfucking motion. But let me tell you some bastard. You got what's coming to you. You karmic, toxic, no good, freak, wanna be groupie, no good, attention seeking piece of trash. The hell? They got you fucked up, said Sirius. I done had to pick up my, you got me fucked up phone. Damn. Ain't this the second time I had to do this, said Sirius? Ooh, Jesus. Spirit, talk to me about this Knight of Wands energy. I just knew it. <laughs> the store. See, see, that's what you hate the most about this, says Cherries, because you at some point really thought that this person was for you. You really, this person was a fresh breath of air, um, breath of air for you. This was a new energy. You know, you were probably... Willing to go ahead and open up a little bit to this person. And you start seeing the red flags. What I say, y'all? This person may like blue. A lot of blue. Blue is important and huge for somebody. Blue. And please leave me a comment and let me know. But you saw a lot of red flags in this person's energy. They can have a blue core. It could be navy blue. I don't give a damn what shade. This person has some type of association to blue. It could be their favorite color. It could be the car that they drive. It could be any damn thing. It could have something to do with the first time y'all met. Something, but this blue is an indicator of a connection to you and this person. But you saw several red flags in this person, and that's what started letting you say, okay, this person is a page. They're not no king of wands. This person is offering me very little. I'm looking for an emperor. But this person is looking for control. <laughs> They slow to move. They ain't doing nothing. They not investing in a connection. They are a charm talk, quick talker. Love bomb energy. Uh, uh, uh. See there? This could be an extra dealing with Sagittarius, uh, but definitely a deep soul connection. This is somebody you're connected to. Absolutely. What I say? Yep. King of Pentacles that you've invested a lot with. And you're actually pondering this person. You know? Thinking about this person. This person's on your mind, Sag. This person's on their mind. Talk to me uh, on your mind. Talk to me, Spirit, about this person's subconscious position here. Talk to me about Ace of Wands. <clears throat> Thank you, Spirit. Broke ass. What I'm saying? Damn. Sagittarius? They broke as fuck. 
they they with you for what you can do. And they think the sex, the, see, that's how they work in their magic. They think they got that game, that eggplant peaches. <laughs> or it could be eggplant, eggplant, whatever the fuck y'all, peach, peach. Whatever y'all doing. Who gives a fuck? But the main thing of it is, is this person think, baby, they got you on lock. You understand me? Said serious. They think they got you whipped, okay? <laughs> Did the sex so good, you gonna let them run over you. Baby, I can see this in this energy very, very clearly. <laughs> That they don't got to do shit. They sex so good, they ain't got to make a motherfucking move, baby. That's what this person believe. <laughs> so they probably did a lot of love bombing in the beginning stages of your connection with this person. Spirit, talk to me about Ten of Wands. Love on the brain. Dreaming, fantasizing, daydreaming, nostalgic. Yeah, now they ain't sitting over here thinking about you now. Mm-hmm. Because, see, they know... That without you, they're going to be struggling. But you're too busy winning. <laughs> they should have been thinking about that shit. You're too busy winning over here hustling, moving on. The fuck? <laughs> they should have been thinking about that before they put you through all this. Talk to me about force wars, please. Wow. <laughs> Impersonator. Don't believe the shit. And I hate to leave me saying this, that's serious, but this person is an impersonator. They're, they're a shapeshifter. This person also shape shifts in between your identity and theirs as well. They want they want to be you, act like you, dress like you, look like you, copy you. They're an impersonator. So when this person is not in your presence, Sagittarius, they become you. So this is a very important part of your reading. This person is utilizing your resources, and you better be very careful because if they have access to your phone and shit, Sag, they will get on there and create some whole other apps and shit under you. Or they will um, talk to people in your phone, like your friends. You have to be leery of people like this, Sagittarius, because they're very, very privy. And let me tell you, it gets very dark for these people. So you have to understand, it's no end. This impersonator card, especially when this person's issue is their addiction to sex. And that's how they think they can finagle their way into people's lives, through the sex. Right? Because this person thinks they got their whip appeal. They think they can... Oh, I got you now because I got you stuck to me like glue. But the thing of it is, this person, when you're not in their presence, they become you. See, they act the way you act, talk the way you talk, do what you do. And that's how they get more people that they can fuck around with. Who am I talking to? Please leave me a comment. And they fucking around in your circle. Hell, that's what all these damn players do. Sagittarius. They fuck around. You 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 looking all over East, East Egypt. You you just start feeling. Okay, let's say this person did this. They just started this fuck shit that the cheaters do when they cheat. They start accusing you of cheating, and they start acting cold and distant and giving you the silent treatment and denying you sex and all this other fuck shit because okay, then you already know they fucking around on you, right? So this person fucked around on you. Um, and now. That's the whole thing. Because a person like this, an impersonator, all they do is they drain your energy. This person drained your energy. The entire experience for this person was draining your energy so that they could transform into you in order to get with the people that surrounding you and the external parties. I can see exactly what this person is doing. And that's why you have, where is the other court I just had, said series, called a case. Call the case. Second time this came out today. Sexual infection, sexual disease, and rash. You need to be careful. And this is coming up for the healing core. So, if this person reach out to have sex with you, deny them. Because this came up for the healing core. This person could be healing from a disease. See? So, it could definitely be the case. This where this person caught something. They could be healing from some shit. Or like I say, it don't have to be a disease. They could have caught a motherfucking case because they didn't, you done found their ass out. That's what the damn case is. <laughs> it don't have to be. But this person is an impersonator. And with this impersonation card to this, see, I can see everything. It don't have to be no disease, Sagittarius. What this person could be doing is running around lying on your name. Oh, baby, that's what they could be doing. Running around saying you caught something and gave it to them. Huh. 
Oh, you, you thought, remember the games and the tricks for kids. I, this person is a, an impersonator, a liar. <laughs> Talk to me about this Knight of Wands subconscious energy concerning this person. We've already seen the subconscious energy of Sagittarius and the reading itself. Let's look a look, uh, take a look at the subconscious of Sagittarius regarding this person that they're thinking about. Talk to me about Knight of Wands. Nine of Wands, please. Girl fight. Yeah, arguments. That's what I'm saying. That's what you think. All this person did was cause a bunch of fights. Arguments, physical fight, and war competing. And this person is actually, whoa, this is some sick ass shit. Um, says Terrence, for some of you, this may be a same sex relationship. I am picking up that energy. Like I said, we don't do gender over here. Um, we don't do any of that. Everybody's except over here. So we don't do all that. All these judgmental people. Oh, you can't do, you can't do. Nah, fuck you. You doing what you want to do. And you got some skeletons in your closet too. So leave everybody else alone. The hell? <laughs> and Miss Sunny told y'all. Shit. But, um, I'm getting that energy. You could be in this energy where this person, like I said, for some of you, this definitely could be a same-sex relationship. I did feel that pop up in the energy. Um, and this person could be very inferior to you, right? They could be secretly competing with you. Like I said, I did see that in the energy where this person does try to, um, imitate you. Like I said, this person is going as far as to create some fake pages on you and, uh, pretending to be you. All that type of shit is going on. I'm saying in the energy. Um, let's confirm the star. Subconscious position for the star. So we do see Sagittarius at some point thought this person was somebody that they could build with, possibly. Build a foundation. Yeah, we can see that. Build their foundation with this person. You did believe that at some point, Sagittarius, because the family card is here. But their pride, their ego overshadows all of that. Their lies. I mean, look at that. You have family in between elusive and pride. Elusive is like the Seven of Swords energy. Lies, trickery, deception. That's not at all a good uh, combination here because this person is non-committal. Then you have family foundation sitting in between pride and, and lies and trickery. Yeah, that's not a good combination. Talk to me about the star. Yeah, see, this is how you feel. Look, at this person made you an offer and it was a lie. That's how you feel about this person and it was all a lie, Sagittarius. They never liked you. They never loved you. They never cared about you. It was all fake. They made you an offer. There was a fraud. You got an offer and fake smiles. Yeah. And you're actually trying to heal from this. Actually. Yeah. Talk to me about this Six of Cups energy to the King of Pentacles. I mean, you really, really, really... Um, like I said, this could definitely be an ex. For a lot of you, but this is definitely a soulmate, a deep connection, twin flame, six of cups energy here. Some of you could be known this person since you were a child. You could have fell in love with this person. I am getting none of the energy where this is somebody from your past that you fell in love with. Maybe your first love or somebody that you fell in love with when you were at an impressionable time in your life, Sagittarius, which is why they still have a strong hold on you. Spirit just tell me that. Um, Cloud hungry. Yeah, that's what you think about this person is. But you know, you dusting it off. You being a good sport about it, Sagittarius. But this person is cloud hungry. And it's something about, like I said, them being intimidated by you. You may know a lot of people. You may be well known in the community. And when I say that, I, people just because you don't have to be Oprah. You know what I'm saying? Or, um, freaking, you know, um, who else? Oprah or Gail or somebody a celebrity. You know what I'm saying, y'all? You don't have to be freaking Mark Wahlberg or, or, uh, or Mark Zuckerberg or whoever the hell in order to be somebody that people know or, or well-recognized or have high acclaim to your name. You could be somebody that people respect. And this person is hungry after what you can produce, right? Hungry after that acclaim, you know? Says, and they'll say anything, do anything, make shit up, and be dramatic as fuck. What did I say? This is what this person does. It's like they don't care who they hurt as long as they get 
something for nothing. And that's what it's all about. Something for nothing. I want everything, but don't want to work for it. And that's this person's syndrome. Yeah. But that's but what I see in your energy and your subconscious, which this can almost be a little bit dangerous for you, Sagittarius, because you're dusting it off, but you're hooked at the same time. So, like I said, I really do get that feel, that draw sexually that you have with this person. Um, but not just that, there is emotion involved too, right? And like I said, for some of you, I do feel that energy where this is somebody from your past that came into your life in an impressionable time for you. Um, and that's why they still have this hold on you, right? This soul tie. Um... Let's take a look. What time? We have 40 minutes now. So, uh, possible outcomes. This is what I want. I'm going to use this deck. Um, let me use this deck, actually. Talk to me, Spirit, about possible outcomes for Sagittarius. Talk to me about Sagittarius. <clears throat> possible outcome. Cut down. Yep, cut out separation. Stop the pattern. Silent treatment. What I say, this person definitely been giving you the silent treatment here. But I think you're definitely thinking about severing ties with this person. We have ascending at the bottom of the deck. Or where you are ascending to a new chapter. Learning from this experience and expanding yourself. Transcending yourself and preparing for a new union. Possibly a new phase. Um, possibly someone new entering into your life. Yeah, what did I say? New beginning. You definitely could be thinking about ending this here with coffin showing up. A new beginning, being liberated from this experience, being reborn, a transitory experience taking place after a tragic ending. Um, okay, girl with the snake, charmed, or used, the neighbor by me. See, yeah, that's what did I say? Sagittarius, this person is very charming, alluring to you. They're almost irresistible to you. This is this person's hold, this holistic tie, but this person is a snake, you know? That's what I don't like. And it's like they try to um, undermine what you say or what you know. They undermine the truth. And they try to make it seem like, or they try to act like it's nothing. Well, I did this to you, but, oh, it's not that big a deal. Well, I slept with them on you, or I FaceTimed this person, but, oh, it's not that big a deal. It's nothing to sever ties over. Oh, well, you know, I've been building this emotional connection with somebody for months now and didn't tell you, but that's okay. It's not that big a deal. You can get over that. That's, like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, who came up with this shit? Seduction, yeah, attraction, teasing, hookup, date, third party. There's the third party energy right there. And that's what they want. They want to screw you and screw everybody else too. And that's what the thing of it is, uh, Sagittarius. They want to have their cake and eat it too. And like I said, it's, this is this person's thing. You see that candle being lit right there? This person could be into some type of sex ritual magic. I am getting that, picking that up in the energy. It doesn't mean that they presented that to you. Or that they're doing that with you, um, Sagittarius, they could be doing that behind the scenes, right? Because you don't know what this person could be into, especially with their sex addiction here. Um, and this person could be into some type of sexual ritual practice. Um, but this is how they allure people. Yeah. And this is how they get you to where you're yearning for them, reminiscing for them, looking at old photos. That this is the type of person that will build you up, build your heart up just to break it down. This is that type of person. They'll build up the, the love bombing stage, tell you everything you want to hear, really make you believe they're all for you. And then say six months go down the line. Um, you Some of you could be dealing with the narcissist. I am getting that energy. Um, but say six months down the line, you know, they got you in. They got you snowed, right? Um, and then all of a sudden, um, 
you could be cooking breakfast or something, right? Um, and then all of a sudden, the breakfast was terrible, right? And then so because even though everything was fine with the breakfast, it's part of the game, right? The head game deal, right? But then all of a sudden, okay, something's wrong with the breakfast, and it's your fault, right? So they place the blame on you. Something's wrong, but really that's just a ploy, a game for you to get away from them, right? Because they have other supply. So you have to understand this, Sagittarius. Um, and then maybe, oh, to top that off, they call you a bitch behind it. Or they say, you know, you're nothing but trash behind it, right? So then there, there goes the beginning of deteriorating your worth, right? Um, and making you believe that you're nothing and no one. So there's no end to the evil devices of these people like this, Sagittarius. And the, I bring this up so that you can see that it's not even worth your time. You know, it's not. Because this person is running around doing this and they have no intentions of stopping. And that's what you know. That's why you're cutting this out. You're tired of arguing. You're tired of trying to be confused. And you're trying to work and you're trying to do everything you need to do. You don't have time for this, Sagittarius. But this person is a snake. And they have some shit behind their back. See? And they're going to get caught up. The karma's going to come to them. You know, all you got to do is sit back and keep doing what you're doing. <laughs> <clears throat> because people that operate like that, they always get what's coming to them. You know, that's the way the universe works. Um, If you give out bad, you get bad back. If you give out good, you get good back. And the thing about good people is good people get hurt all the time. But the reward from God in the end is going to be your blessing. So you remember that. I don't know who needs to hear that message. Remember the reward of the divine will be your blessing. Thus said the divine. Because, the, if, you know, what a shame if someone decides to allow their body to be operated in as a host of the devil. What a shame it is for them, right? Because we all know the end to that story. Because when you mean um, bad to people and you treat people bad, ugly will follow you. So I don't know who needs to hear that cross watcher or whoever is doing these things. You have to understand that the law of traction does not change for you and anyone else. The basics of life, of humanistic existence, does not change for you and anyone else. So what you have to understand that the, the, the juxtaposition between light and darkness will not falter. I don't care if you decide to operate as a host of the devil. You will lose. So that's what you need to understand. If you are operating for the devil, your end will be seen. And I and, and it's very important that people understand this because this is an important time that people need to hear this. Unless you are operating on the behalf of the divine, you will cease. Your time is short. And you need to understand that. So if you're running around here playing games with people and trying to corrupt people's lives and destroy people's hearts and destroy their soul, you are going to be the first one that's going to suffer. So you need to get that. All these people that are evil dwellers and that are doing that, and maybe you don't care, right? Because you think that, oh, I'm just going to serve Satan and I'm going to get to hell and it's going to be beautiful, I'm going to be able to sleep around with whoever I want to and do. But what you don't understand is that the minute you make, I just saw the number 4848 48 show up on the clock. Please look that up for prophetic meaning. But the minute you sign that contract with the devil, please understand that you just killed your own soul because the devil will have his last laugh and it will be at the expense of your own soul. So whatever it is that you're trying to cover up, Whatever pain it is that you're trying to ease, know that you will suffer if you are working on the behalf of the devil because you will not receive a gift in return. He is going to take your soul and you are going to suffer very, very, very bad <laughs> at the end. So please know that all these evildoers while you're running around here trying to pretend like you didn't betray Sagittarius. Oh yeah, I see you, a cross watcher. You're trying to pretend like you didn't betray Sagittarius. But yes, you did. Yes, you did. 
And you will pay for it. <laughs> so, because the universe doesn't change for anybody. Just like you think that the devil's working something out for you. Well, what about what you need to be in fear of is what God is working out for those who follow. That's your real fear. And I'll leave this reading there. <laughs> I'll leave this reading right there, Sagittarius. Um, y'all, now you know I love y'all, Sagittarius. You know I had to take a couple more minutes for y'all because they got y'all messed up out here in these streets. Get that down to y'all. For real, for real. <laughs> they got y'all messed up out here. They want to play with my Sag. Now y'all want to mess up my little Sunday. Y'all want to come through this ring and mess with Sagittarius. My God, y'all really played it. Y'all really, whew. That's, that's a good way to get me upset. <laughs> okay, Sagittarius, this has been y'all's reading. I love you all so much. Love unlimited and light to you all on your magnificent journey. Blessings and abundance to you. I can't wait to see you all on the next reading. Blessings, I hope this reading has helped you all on your journey. The amazing journey called your life as you are chartering on uncharted territory. A new day to breathe in new life for you. This is an opportunity for you to move forward. An opportunity for you to understand that all is not lost. This is the hour that you would not give up on you. That you would choose you this time, even in the face of the crevices of the devil. Speaking into your soul that you don't matter. That you don't mean anything. That you won't make it this time. But I speak back to the devil. Yeah, to that suicide spirit. I see you. Someone out there feels like this is their last hour. But it's not your last hour. You stand up and raise your head back and lift your shoulders on high. And you tell the devil, get thee behind me, Satan. In the name of all that is divine. I don't care what it is that you believe in. But this would be that very divine, powerful hour that you would tap this screen and feel a move of God. That you would understand that no man, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. It is so because it is a word that was spoken by the divine. All these believers, these non-believers and the believers of Satan and the evil works that he does know that your destruction time is prevalent. But what is more, even more so prevalent is the purpose. The divine light that's shining inside your spiritual womb. That's dying and yearning to come out. But maybe your family told you you weren't good enough. Maybe your friends told you that, oh, I have this. You got that new good idea? I don't think you'll be able to do it. Oh, you're trying to write that book. You won't be able to do that. That's too hard for you. This would be the hour that you would choose to love yourself mercilessly. That you would look, get up in the morning and look yourself in the mirror. I just saw the number 5252 just showed up. Prophetic meaning. Please look that up. That you would look in the mirror and you would accept yourself fully. That you wouldn't depend on the, 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 the compartmentalization of this earth realm existence. Of an earth realm heart that has no place for you. That you would understand that your real heart represented by the divine is already inside you. It's hiding behind the severed heart that you gave to this earth realm where people broke it and shattered it. You know, I remember Sagittarius a long time ago in my life when I watched my heart on the floor shattered and broken three times severed on the ground. I watched myself die. And I don't know who needs to hear this message. But this is that hour somebody needs to hear it. I watched myself die spiritually. In the process of writing one of my books, I was writing my book, Soon I Wither, Weeping in the Grass of Old, thinking that I was not good enough. I wasn't going to make it, right? Because that's the story the devil's been trying to tell you. That you've been believing. I don't care how many years it's been. Maybe it's been two years, five years. Maybe it's been your whole life. Because I know for me, I struggled for years. But I watched myself die, right? Looking for love in all the wrong places. But there was a day that came when I relinquished that pain over to the divine. And I decided to accept the truth about who God believed I was. Not the feeble position of the devil. When I decided to give devil power over my mind. 
and give the devil power over the crevices of my heart. Something you simply can't allow. But here, oh, the devil thought he had me figured out. But oh, was he so wrong. Because the reason why I'm breathing today is to be able to get on this televised program to tell you that you will make it. I just saw 5505 prophetic change taking place in your life because I said it so by the authority of God invested in my spiritual womb. The number 555 prophetic change taking place in your life. I call that over your life, Sagittarius, in the name of all that is divine. The devil cannot break it. Let the chains of the enemy be broken over your life. The crown upon your head be replaced. Let every devil be removed from your psyche, every crevice of your thought, every crevice of your heart. Let every demon that has been swindling your truth, let them be made eradicated out of your womb. Let you be made whole. Let the, cre the crevices of your mind be made correct. Let the traveling of your thought system be made renewed. Let the devil be made astray and let the devil be put back into the swine to be released into the river, never to be seen again. We raise the concave souls on the behalf of Sagittarius at this time. Every sorrowful spirit, every demonic spirit, every spirit of depression, every principality that is trying to see their way into your promise. We come against it by the sword of Archangel Michael. We come against it by the tenacity of Archangel Uriel at this time. We come against you, devil, back, back. Because the angels that surround me at this table come against you in the name of all that is divine. You thought you came here, devil, to try to swindle me out of the truth, but you came to the wrong place. Because you came to a heavenly, divine, rightful made place. And this is the hour that every angel in heaven would destroy you. This is the, this is the day that the captive would be released from mental torment. And I say it all is so in the name of divine at this time. And I speak all of these things over your life, Sagittarius, because this word someone did need. And anytime the spirit will call me to speak over your life, I will do it. Because I'm not ashamed of what God told me. I'm not ashamed of what God believed for me. I'm not ashamed of the call over my life. I'm not ashamed to tell you the truth about who you are, that you're remarkably made, beautifully made, that your life has purpose. And every time you take a breath, it's on the allotment of the beauty of your truth. And that's what the devil hates so much, that you're breathing. And he can't grant breath to anyone. He's a suffocator of souls. That's the very fact that you're breathing makes the devil angry. But we come against it today. The number 5740 just showed up on the clock. Please look it up for prophetic meaning. But I... Prophesy prophetic change over your life, Sagittarius. Prophetic change that is coming into your energy. I feel it all over me. Prophetic change that every chain over your life will be broken and shattered at this time. Every demon that would, would call their name in the presence of all that is made divine. You would speak your name and you would eradicate yourself into the swine. At this time, and I say it so by the authority of God inside my vessel. Who do you think you're dealing with, devil? We come against it at this time. And I'll leave your reading right there, Sagittarius. Blessings to you, abundance. Hopefully this message has helped you all on your magnificent journey. Do leave me a comment. I'd love to know how you all are doing and how I can best serve you on your journey. Um, you all, like I said, remember to love you. Don't give up on yourself this time, and I'll see you all in the next reading. Take care.